Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Honor Haytack. I am going to walk you guys through some of the new functionality. Again, thank you for your time. I don't want to keep you guys too long. I know you guys are all busy. Um, just to make sure that you guys are hearing me, um, Cody, if they hear me, just send me a chat message, please. Okay, perfect. Well, okay, so, you know, I, I just want to kind of go through the um, agenda here, what we did uh, for you guys, a lot of the stuff that is being requested by customers and and then the strategically we have to change our course to do a lot of the e-commerce stuff right um as we're growing the business we are growing the customer count with larger sites which is uh, you know eventually our main goal as linga and also you know I help you guys get more accounts uh keep your merchant accounts and all that stuff now what we have added is i'm just going to go over this real quick um we have added three new templates. Uh, the previous webinar that I have showed you guys what we were working on, I'm kind of uh, going to show you guys where you can find it. Um, those are going to have large, small, and a no uh, logo kind of uh, designs, okay? No um, pictures on the menu items. And then we have added this order throttling for online ordering, which is uh, very uh, hot and requested many times. We all kind of walk you guys through. As you know, we announced the Linga Go. Uh, finally, we were uh, certified with a year and a half of battle with Clover Flex and First Data. Um, it was unbelievable the amount of time it took us to uh, release this. So that is out there. Okay, I'm going to show you all that. Uh, virtual kiosk has already been out. Um, I'll show you all that as well. How, how does that work for each table? You are able to print a, uh, a QR code and uh, you will be able to use those QR codes to order and make payments. And, you know, it took us a little time because I wanted to do it right. I didn't want it to be all, you know, um, self-centered. I wanted it to be fully integrated with the uh, iPad POS where we see everything where employees or customers are coming, opening new checks and, you know, paying tabs. Everything is visible on iPad real time. Okay. And then the driver app is sent to the Apple Store and Android Store this week. And hopefully in a week or so, you will be able to start downloading them uh, from the App Stores. That is also huge. I'll walk you through that. And then the Linga marketing, which we are still working on, and that's going to be in uh, the last piece, which will change our business. Okay, so let's start with the Linga order throttling. Okay, so what is order throttling? Right now, the biggest problem we have was if a customer comes in to our website, it would have an option that says ASAP. Okay. Uh, that means, you know, if I want to order something to go pick it up, uh, it, it will be ready immediately, right? So, and when somebody orders something from different, uh, you know, times, uh, not time zone, but the delivery zone, they were all showing the same time and all that. Now, what we have is we are able to go into our uh, Olo admin site, as everybody has access to this, okay, for each store, throttling settings, okay. Um, you will be able to set up your delivery prep time pick up prep time. So this is like the, the first ones that you guys can set. Okay, you know, my minimum pickup will take me 35 minutes. But then for each day of the week, you will be able to set up depending on how busy you are, right? Between this time and that time, okay? For delivery and curbside and pickup, okay? For each 60, second, 60 minutes, I am able to do five orders, okay? If I have more than five orders, add another 10 minutes to that order pickup time, okay? So this is the mentality of how the throttling works. And uh, it also will going to show us when we go to the site, instead of showing us, you know, the, the minute that we are in uh, to, as a pickup time, it will show you when it's going to be ready right on that screen where it used to say ASAP, okay? Then when you guys go and select some something for the future, uh, you will be able to see that as well, okay? So um, I'm not sure if I can share the screen and do it at the same time, but um, let me see. I'll try. You guys let me know. Okay, I think it will kick me out of there. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll walk you guys through uh, later on to do that, okay? Let me focus on this now. All right, so 
this is the order throttling. Um, I can show you guys something else with that. Okay. Now, also in the um, Linga online ordering admin, right? Now you have these options default layout, large image, small image, and no image. No image layout is something you guys can test with your own uh, accounts. No image is something like uh, a menu card, doesn't have any pictures. Some people don't like you know or have time to go uh, take good quality pictures because the same pictures that we have on the point of sale is going to be immediately replicated into our website so that's another good good thing right so we are doing that uh, you guys can test it and then the next one is the linga driver okay so linga driver is is going to be um, a solution where you will be able to as soon as dispatch a driver to a driver, it will pop up in their cell phone and they will be able to go ahead and start selecting, um, you know, right on the map where they're supposed to go, okay? And uh, this will basically also route them through uh, what is the closest location to go and start first, okay? So all that is is a part of this driver app. Also, I want to show you, um, I have made a, a, a strategic decision because Google raised their prices in February, right? February or towards March. And right now it's so expensive to do Google API calls. So we have to kind of go around it. So what I have done is for customers who wants to use the, their own API, meaning they want, they, they need to now, every customer needs to get their own API through Google. Uh, if they want to really use these functionalities because, you know, our, our pricing for uh, driver is going to be like nine ninety nine per driver, I think, a month. And if I enable this on our account, it will be costing us a lot more money. So we don't want to do that. We want we encourage everybody to go and get uh, a separate API for Google. If you guys uh, want to learn how to do that, please send, it, send us an email. We'll send you how to do that. Now, the beautiful thing about the driver is basically it's replicating what Uber does, right? So uh, the driver will know automatically where to go. If there is more than one um, delivery, it will route it and show you where you need to start first. As soon as a, cost, a driver starts driving, it sends a text message stating that now the order is on the way, okay? And then um, if the order is delayed, if somebody just removed the order from the driver and then the delayed message will go there, uh, if order is canceled by by mistake or something happens, it will go up there as well. Um, you know, if the driver is close by, like 500 feet close to the house, it will send a text message, your driver is nearby, okay? And then when the order is completed, uh, it will. They will press a button that it's delivered. Now, let's say I have three orders, and I checked into one order. Only that customer will receive an order stating that the, the driver is on the way. Then, once he delivered that one, checked into the next one, he will also send an automatic message to that second customer stating that driver is on the way. And we are also automatically sending a text message for them to track where the driver is you will be able to see all these stuff. I'm showing this to you like a week before we launched it. Uh, so you guys are up to date. Um, you know, sorry, we didn't have much time to do videos and all that stuff for you guys to see and visualize. But I want everybody to like try it and test it on their own. And you know, if you miss something, please let us know. Um, okay, so that's the whole driver app, uh, what I wanted you guys to know. And, uh, and then go from there, let me see. The next is the Go. Okay, so I think I have posted a video of how it works. Uh, if you guys look at the handouts, I have an introducing Linga Go kind of handout. You guys can run that, I think, as a uh, video. If not, we do have now the website is live. Um, let me put it on the chat. You guys can go click on it, and also video is available. Linga Go, yes, as well, is uh, available in Canada. Yep. Okay. And Cody, you need to start these polls slowly. Everybody can uh, answer some of the questions. Okay. Okay, good. All right, sounds good. Okay, so this is, I mean, I don't need to explain this to you. Everybody knows what this is. 
this is a, a complete point of sale in that little device. Okay, as you guys know, last year and a half, two years, I've been reinvesting into a new platform that works on web browsers, okay? The reason I'm doing this is eventually I do not want to be tied into any type of hard, hardware, and um, which is working out amazingly. We launched it in, uh, in Turkey uh, last year, and uh, we have gathered some really nice customers, learned a lot from the first trials and all that. Now we are selling it all, all around Middle East, Dubai. We have customers. We also added a little retail layout. I don't know if you guys seen it. Uh, slowly, I'm going to separate the retail app from the restaurant app and, and go to market with the retail uh, presence as well. That's my goal. And I think we will start getting that done the first quarter of next year. And uh, so the, the product itself is, is able to spit an image of a, a Windows image, a Linux image, Mac, or our, it works on a browser. So what it made me, you know, made us uh, be able to put this inside this, uh, you know, Clover device is an Android app, okay? So I'll give you guys an example. We, we just landed a really large 300 store franchise that were stuck on a Linux platform, okay? Um, the cost of just change those hardware was around uh, $750,000. You're looking at three POS each, each store and three KDSs, they were all on Linux. Now, you know, you will run into places where you have a micros unit and the product works with any of these uh, printers with Epson compatible. So if you have a micros customer, not that old hardware, like three years old, they already invested it and their quick service and the basic table service and stuff right now, you will be definitely be able to use our web POS slowly. Okay. And uh, you can either use a Windows application version of it or a browser itself. But the browser, we do it in a way that it is, um, it's a kiosk, okay? So you cannot separate it between an application or a kiosk. So that means, uh, or, or a browser. So that means you will not see any, um, you know, browser address uh, sections or any of that stuff. You will be able to immediately start using it and it gets stuck on the, on the screen. So you cannot minimize it or do anything of that. It works like a full-on kiosk. So, you know, that's something that I want everybody to start getting involved, put it, create a lab, put one or two versions of it, test it, you see, because you will start finding opportunities where you will be able to completely replace a customer without changing a, a, any hardware, okay, and convert them into your credit card processing instantly, right on the spot, okay? Now, the web POS supports PAX uh, S380, S380, 300, I'm sorry, and uh, Clover Flex, semi-integrated, okay? So if you guys want to do that, you guys can immediately start using that. Also for Linga Go, I suggest order those Linga Clover Flexes from us next few months till we figure out how we're going to, um, how going to be, how we are going to be able to distribute those stuff into your Clover Flexes because I decided not to be on, on the uh, uh, Clover store. The reason is that is they want a big piece of what we are selling it for. And also, you know, um, it doesn't let me put more than one, which also our white label partners are receiving their own version. That is going to be released hopefully as soon as they say yes, the same application. So um, in the meantime, you guys can use Linga if you want. If you don't, uh, within a week or so, hopefully it will be released. And... Um, you know, the, the, the preparation of these devices, you know, set it, setting it up and making sure this works. And because there's some printer settings, you will also see there's printer settings and contactless settings and all that. That needs to be also set up in the application. So if you guys want us to do that, uh, we'll be happy to have that, you know, help for you guys. Okay. So that's Lingago. I know everybody's looking for it and uh, it's very exciting. Okay, so the next thing is virtual kiosk, right? Um, I'll walk you guys through later on on that, how you guys can get that. But you basically go to settings. You, Of course, everything that I'm showing you, you need to have subscription, okay? Uh, add your subscriptions for Lingago. It's going to be much lower price. My vision on, on the way the technology is uh, going right now is that 
I think we will only sell one POS and then we're going to end up selling 10 of those devices. That's what it seems like where the market is going. Okay. And, uh, now that's why I want to be hardware agnostic and be able to tomorrow. I know Google is working on a new operating system that is going to be the successor of Android. And that is an unbelievable operating system that will work on any device. So our new platform will work on all of those. So right now I don't ever have to worry about next 10 years and 15 years from now, what could change. As long as the internet is in business, as long as we use browsers, okay, Linga will work. All right, so that was my plan and that's what we're achieving right now. And get on it before it gets hot because I tell you, it is working great and, and it works better than anything we've done before. But only thing that I warn you, okay, is doesn't have all the functionality of the iPad edition, which we've been writing the code for six years. Okay, so keep that in mind. Always, I tell you, match the customer to the product. Don't just sell a product, right? Okay, so this is also, uh, you know, great. Uh, just not menu, but the whole thing. Uh, we basically took our online ordering, changed it up a little bit, uh, make it more um, uh, fast, use, usable, much faster, so you guys can also check out and make the payments right there. Okay, and this works literally in 45 countries. Again, my white label. Uh, you know, partners, I tell you, you have no limits. You can sell this stuff anywhere in the world unless there is a country that is exclusive. Okay. You will be able to sell this product. Okay. So that's our goal. Now I will show you that next, but um, also this is what I've been talking about. Go, you go to this website, web.lingapos.com and use whatever your regular um, username password is. Make sure you reset one license if you don't have enough. And then you will be able to see the whole thing and how it works right here. Okay. So we support pretty much everything. Uh, the biggest thing that is missing on this application right now is bar tabs. Okay. Bar tabs is not completed yet. And uh, some of the hardware components are not, uh, you know, integrated with this. But we have done, because of retail, we also have done the barcode scale functionality. If you guys want to get into delis and butcher shops eventually, this will be a great product for that as well. Okay. And uh, we have a sheet that compares iPad to our web POS platform. Definitely, uh, if you want it, request it from support team. We'll send it to you. Okay. And, uh, and you know, another thing I do with this product, instead of just building all the functionalities that I think people like, I just go to a client who likes to be on this platform. And I said, okay, what were you using before? They said XYZ POS. Then I said, okay, what are we missing? They say, you're missing this function, that function. And I do that for them. And, you know, the way I'm doing it for them is they pay for the, the gap, okay? And we don't rush anything with this because we're in production, we have to go crazy and sell this. No, iPad is autopilot, as you guys know, we are selling it, improving it every day. And then this platform is for future, uh, where we go and custom tailor it for the customer. And my goal with this is mostly enterprise, but the beautiful uh, platform it is, I tell you, you, I mean, open up a browser and, and sell it to someone, it's ridiculous. This is like a dream come true for me, honestly. Okay, so, so this is Web POS, and again, let me see if you guys have questions. I'll take a look at it shortly. Now, I keep talking about the marketing, guys. This is the, 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 the final. Not final, but I, I'm also decided I'm going to add two more new products uh, today with our team. Uh, queue management, you know, as you know, our KDS solution now is a great, uh, I don't know if you guys ever used it, but now it's becoming a complete part of this whole ecosystem from the online order coming down, okay, to the POS, how it goes to the KDS, how when it's prepared, it sends a text message, it moves itself to the uh, expo uh, KDS. Then uh, if it's prepared, it sends a text message to the customer saying that your order is ready. The curbside is coming and the message goes back to the KDS with the, uh, you know, the model and name, color of the car, right? The whole comp complete ecosystem. Then uh, the queuing system will be a large screen facing the customers up front by the cashiers, showing them what is preparing and what is uh, prepared, ready to go, right? So people will be able to just come in and pick it up right from there. Okay, so that's another quick app I'm going to release in a few weeks. And uh, we are going to also add 
uh, another function for loyalty collection. The reason I kind of want to separate, because not everybody has customer display, but I think every, every restaurant needs to have a data collection facility, which is another iPad or Android device where we can just say, hey, sign up for loyalty, get uh, 100 points today, right? So get them become a part of this because the marketing we are building is all catered through that. And let me tell you guys, the first thing you always should do when you go to a place, first sell the gift cards, okay? Give it to them, let them sell the gift cards. Make sure that they are part of your loyalty program, okay? These are very sticky functionalities, right? All right, so these are the things that the first thing that I will even give it to them for free, honestly. Like I, when I sell directly, I try to give them like 50 gift cards to start. And if they want to order more, they can make it a habit. Uh, I know a little costy, extra 50, 100 bucks, but I tell you it's worth it, right? Then um, there's one more thing that you guys put an eye on that. So uh, I'm not going to talk to too much about it, but marketing, I am now combining the loyalty the customer data, okay, what, what customer is buying, where they're buying, what time they're buying, how much they're spending. All the coupon, which is the discounts you create, be able to send uh, very powerful messages and offers to your uh, customers, right? And be able to track what's paying, what's, what's bringing the pe people back, right? Um, so this is the piece that we're uh, working on. The designs are almost complete. Uh, we are kind of gathering down all what data we are going to use. Also, I am changing that loyalty module a little bit. It's going to be called CRM plus loyalty. If you look at um, the uh, the pricing page, the uh, CRM is a big part of the loyalty, obviously. And if you don't have CRM, you know you're not going to be able to do all of it. And customers are saying that why don't I have uh, customer data? Why are you not giving it to me with the, you know, with the POS? But guys, you know, we already give a lot, you know, for the price. So I, I think CRM plus loyalty, customers needs to know another module that you guys should really push because I, it happened multiple times. You know, the customer thinks that they have the customer. Even delivery will not work without this functionality, honestly. Like if they want to see the customer data in the back office, they need this um, loyalty module, but I'm changing the name to CRM plus loyalty. So customers don't react to that like they do sometimes, right? So this is also another additional require, requirement for you guys to sell. Uh, this way, you know, um, you know, you increase a little bit of the margins, okay? So that's pretty much that. And then, um, and then guys, another thing I wanna kinda uh, tell you guys, what is the latest version 2.125? And, you know, last year I have converted, the, you guys keep seeing this multi-sync. What is this multi-sync, right? As you know, we use this synchronization technology to communicate between one iPad to another, right? So everything that is happening in iPad, it goes up into Amazon and comes down to all the other iPads. So as you know, it, it, it's a very traffic uh, heavy uh, process. So I didn't want it to ever go down because if it goes down, we're, we're, we, in trouble, right? So what we did is we created a very scalable new architecture. We called it multi-sync. So it will have not only one one uh, server, but multiple pods running at the same time. And they, they sync the data in between. So even if one of them goes down, nobody uses loses any data. The sync still works. So I strongly suggest uh, if you have any of your customers on the single sync, uh, try to upgrade them to the multi-sync after you close the day, make sure they batch, everything is out. First thing in the morning, make sure they update that. Make sure you close the day and batch, okay? Because the data, any, any open checks on single sync is not visible on multi-sync. So if you do that in the middle of a business day, uh, all the checks will disappear. It will not be visible on the multi-sync. It will still be there. It's not gonna go anywhere, but it will be creating a lot of havoc for you, okay? Just so you know. Now, okay, so I'm not gonna go crazy on you guys, uh, showing a lot of stuff, but uh, let me answer some questions, okay? And uh, and then go from there, okay. 
Okay, somebody says, uh, Andrew says, KDS should have an integrated order ready screen as well. So that's the Linga queue that's coming. Okay, it's going to be part of the uh, KDS. It should not take us more than a few weeks, maybe two weeks. Okay, so, um, okay, marketing is the ultimate future. We cannot wait. Omer says, yes, I agree with you. I think it's going to change the game. Uh, Kelly wants, what do you want, Kelly? Can I get the website address again, please? Yeah, let me put that in there for, let me send you guys the Lingago link. Okay, you will be able to get that. Um, what else? So Ryan asked, Lingago operates standalone. Does it need to be in an existing store with another station? No, that's the beauty, guys. That what you see in Lingago is a complete point of sale. You do not need anything. You can literally go and just sell it by itself. Literally, I'm not kidding. And you know, for small places. Now, another good news is, you know, we signed a deal with uh, Pax, and we have everything now. We started immediately. I'm doing the same thing for Pax uh, A920 Pro. That will be a little larger screen, a little better CPU. Hopefully, it will work as good as uh, how it works on Clover Flex. I was really impressed with the quality of uh, that Android device. Okay, the screen and the whole CPU speed and performance was great. I tried maybe like 30 different uh, Android devices. Nothing worked as good as this. So I hope you sell a lot. Okay, and uh, what else? Yeah, we are recording this for anybody who wants to. Um, okay. Let me go back to the question section. The order throttling is coming. Pretty much it's done. We are in the testing phase. You should see it in production hopefully next week. Okay. Um, if you guys want to order a test Clover devices, the, the problem with Clover devices is it requires a merchant ID for you to be able to activate. Um, Lila in our office knows everything about that. So if you guys want to send an email to Lila, she will uh, be able to help you guys out ordering one or, or getting all that done. Okay. The driver app is complete, gentlemen. Uh, again, that is already pushed to the uh, Apple Store and Android Store. You should see it in a week and it should immediately work with Multisync. Okay. Again, I am discontinuing single thing. It should work on your Multisync devices. Okay, so uh, make sure that you slowly update everybody. Uh, the, yes, the online orders now also work work with Web POS. Now that opens up another beautiful uh, scenario for you. Um, Micros customer, Aloha customer, they're running this. They need online ordering, right? Uh, you can go open up a browser, put Web POS in there with their menu, okay, and orders will be able to print right into the same kitchen. Okay, using our web POS. So that is also enabled just for your information. Okay. Uh, talk waiter app, which allows waiters to take orders. Lingago is the replacement. I mean, Lingago is pr pretty much the whole thing. We thought about writing a new application, make it dummy dumb, but, you know, I mean, they have everything they need right in that little device. So, you know, I think. I, I want to still change the, some of the uh, UI components slowly, make it a little bit more user friendly. But I think it does the job right now, especially for payments and all of that. And I think once we put the web uh, bar bar tabs, it will be very functional for like bars and stuff like that as well. You know, it's a matter of time, guys. Uh, Sean asks, uh, yes, it's a Clover Flex app only used the native payment app and not the Lingago. So just to explain, Web POS is, is a native uh, Android app we gave to them to integrate into the SDK of the Clover Flex on Android. So um, I don't know if it answers your question, but um, give me a buzz later if you want to learn more, okay? Yes, the web ROS, okay, is completely offline, like all my products. Okay, that's uh, number one. Um, if you, you have an option, if you use the browser, it still caches it, okay? And even if you close the application, open it back up, it will show up exactly where you left off. You know, that's the beautiful thing. Unless you go and delete all the cookies and all the cache data on your browser, then it will delete that. To eliminate that, if you have a problem with that, then you can 
and download one of our Windows executable Linux or Mac, right? Depending on what you're using, you can use that. So there's no way to delete that, right? Okay. Well, South Africa, uh, Donovan is asking, you know, when are we going to do the integration with South Africa? I keep hearing that. I think they started talking to a company, and I think it's happening now. So um, I'm not sure what the name of the customer, but I'll double check with the uh, team, okay? Okay, so the driver app also will come as white label. As soon as we, we push it, okay, uh, and test it in the production a little bit more. I mean, you're looking at less than four weeks for you guys to also have white label version of uh, the driver, okay? So we are doing it for everybody. Well, thank you, Don. He says, uh, not a question, but a statement. We have just started marketing Linga in South Africa. You guys have a fantastic product. Well done. Well, thank you. We appreciate that. Ben, I see Ben from Oman. Will there be apps with white label partners for schedules, insights, and stocks? I think we already have uh, all of those. Let me double check. And uh, I think we already have it for schedules, insights, cloud insights. Um, let us gather all the data for you guys to go ahead and start using those. Okay. What else I missed? Uh, Paul, do you want to say a couple of words? Are you are you able to speak? Okay. Before, let me go through a few more questions, and I'm gonna um, turn on your ma microphone. Payfast, yeah, Payfast. I think it's ordered to start in uh, South Africa, just so you know. It's uh, in my list. Okay, so um, let me see. Paul, do you want to speak? Here you go. Paul, you're still on mute if that's what you want to do. Okay, Paul says uh, he's good. I think he, he lost his mind or memory last five minutes. Okay, fine. Uh, any other questions, ladies and gentlemen? Anything that uh, we can do to improve? We did some polls. Let me see what's going on here. Um, so I said, what is the most requested feature request you hear from your merchants? Okay. Uh, I hear online ordering, ability for drivers to easily close credit card transactions. Okay, so this is already going to be a part of the delivered function. When you deliver it, it will automatically uh, close that check if they didn't pay. Now, um, depending on you know who we work with, we might end up also adding the full um, you know a driver also being able to receive payment on the spot functionality. I can push the driver app right into the Clover Flex or A920 and make it a part of that whole ecosystem. So th those are options that we have. Yeah, the integration with delivery companies, DoorDash. Let, let me tell you what the problem with these. Uh, if you guys have access to the APIs, guys, uh, bring it to me. You know, you might have it with a client that has, you know, 100 stores or whatever. DoorDash API is nowhere to be found. We have the Uber API. Uh, in fact, I just started that process today. I told the guys to go over and start uh, doing a full-blown integration with Uber Eats. And, um, you know, but uh, I need to have APIs to integrate because the guys, like it's a checkmate, Chow Leo, and all these guys are doing it in a very weird parsing way that they parse the data where the emails come in and stuff like that. That's We don't want to do that. Okay. Uh, ben, I, it says app and parent modifier visible on online ordering. I think that is also in, in play. Uh, I have to check with the guys. Cody, can you make a note and double check with the team for, for this question? Okay, Andrew asks something with uh, RI button with deliveries, shows you and da 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 da. Well, I'll double check that. I don't know what that is exactly. 
uh, display recipe of item being ordered. So they can modify extra, remove item, print in the kitchen with extra or removed. The recipe of the item being ordered. So you want this for the recipe for inventory purposes or you want it to, for the chef to know how to make the item, okay? Um, please clarify that via chat. I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at that. Online ordering touchless experience gift cards. Touchless experience and gift cards. I think we have all of them. So asking for tips at the time on sales. We have that now with Flex. Um, see all reporting of the front of the house stats. I don't know what that means, Jason. You might want to send another message uh, elaborating that one. Masood from England. Uh, in integrated credit card solution, more flexible with print layouts and customization, marketing integration. Now, guys, <clears throat> marketing integration, when you guys know, right? Uh, you are free to use our API. As you know, uh, developers.lingaros.com give you full API capability. A all you need is to run our marketing, pull the customer data. Customer data, and you can also pull what they purchased and all that and dump it into any platform that you like and use this solution uh, for marketing. The reason I'm doing marketing is I think, you know, while all the data is already there, why not, right? Let them... Uh, do some really smart marketing where they then know how to run the business, right? Our goal is to give them something that, that helps them run the business, not to become a more business, uh, more, more work for them. So, I mean, as you know, most restaurant owners, they're not tech savvy. So I wanted, that's why ROS is in the game. It's one piece of a product and you can do everything together. Okay. Um, training mode is being requested. I know everybody requests this, guys, uh, but I tell you, there's a functional issues doing that uh, because how we did that. I mean, uh, I will still do a little brainstorm session, try to get that done. Um, you know, the worst case is, I don't know how to tell you, but uh, uh, training mode, yeah, yeah, you guys are right. I mean, worst case, you avoid those... Uh, stuff immediately and then let us know but i don't know what else to do uh let me see what we can do and then being able to swipe between and switch between table layouts so you don't want to hit that arrow instead you want to just slide it i think we can do that driver management is coming uh again uh in a in a week or so it should be on popping up all right let me see these other what can Linga do to help you sell more? Are there any roadblocks preventing you from selling Linga? Okay. Well, Anthony is asking, uh, one sheet showing Linga versus Toast listing our functionalities. We already have that sheet almost a year now. Um, it should be also in a blog in our website, but we also have an Excel sheet. Uh, we compare them from one to another. So if you guys want to definitely go ahead and request that, uh, Cody, you should be able to send it to the partner team for them to have this because it's a good armory. Okay. Uh, combos for Olo is needed desperately. It's coming. I had a big meeting today um, for Pizza. Now we have combos, specialty combos. I'm also adding that up for online ordering uh, another few weeks. Offer sales training for partners. Share Linga marketing actions, what Linga is doing, how you're selling the system. Well, anybody who needs this, guys, I mean, I'm always available. We have these conversations with the partner all day long. You know, first, you guys need to study um, how SaaS business works. You know, if you don't understand SaaS business going forward, you're not going to understand the POS business going forward either because the game changed. Another thing is, depending on the region, in U.S. and Canada, you don't understand the payment business and SaaS. You don't understand this business, right? So there are a lot of prerequisites uh, for you to start learning this business. If you guys want to sell more, obviously, marketing is the key. But, you know, in restaurants still today, face-to-face -face is everything, honestly. Maybe this COVID uh, slowed it down. I look at my top sales guys, and they are constantly visiting the same guy they go up up there they have dinner there till they get him on the corner and and you know show them the systems and get the credit card merchant processing uh statement 
right? So these are the things that you guys have to do, but you need a motivated group of people who understand both sides and don't sell with credit cards, sell with POS, you automatically get the credit card business, right? That's what's going on. But if you guys want it, uh, please let us know. We can also do some uh, webinars for more sales training, what we are doing. And again, you know, as a, as a company, we don't really focus too much outside sales. We are focusing now more on partners like you. Uh, we have now hundreds of partners all around the world. And, uh, you know, it's not the same as Toast. They're going crazy and spending the money and, uh, you know, bringing a lot of merchants and credit card business. But we are, I think, growing more organically. And there will be a tipping point where we shoot to the uh, skies, which I think it, those days are coming very soon. Uh, I'm forecasting uh, maybe a couple of more quarters you'll see. Okay. So I, I'm just building the artillery for everyone globally, right? And uh, while Toast is doing it for US alone, we are already in 180 countries, right? Yeah, we don't have the, the accounts that they have, but we have a hell of a product that competes and steal customers from them. I just replaced the spot coffee chain from Toast, okay, out of Buffalo, okay? Uh, you know, I mean, there's a bunch of people coming. I'm stealing a lot of people from Brink. so. Our product is, is powerful, okay? Um, if you know how to sell and if you know how to basically do the product uh, project management properly, the, the menus are key. If you cannot deliver the menus as ease of use, it doesn't matter. You give them a gold POS, it's not going to work, right? So uh, more bundle pricing, price grows for multiple iPad solutions. Uh, Peter, get back with Bob Fraser here. He just came up with a new program. Uh, you should definitely look into it. I think what we should also do is, uh, I don't know, Bob, if, if, you're, if you even have a few minutes to, you want to talk a little bit, uh, share your screen or anything, but I think we should do that uh, little conversation with them as well. Okay. Uh, Kirk says, can we talk to someone about how these, uh, some of the functionality works, uh, lower price for online ordering, and uh, somebody says it's too high. Well, I mean, uh, too high relevant, right? So, you know, we are very flexible when you guys bring multiple sites. Anything more than even five, I give special pricing. If you bring it to us, you know, um, and now we have a Linga One platform, guys. That is the key. Linga One, we are opening it for partners. Uh, you will be able to sell Linga One platform. Uh, with a big discount and where you give not only five licenses per location, you give every add-on that we have to those clients, okay? So it's it's a game changer. A la carte pricing will be over eight nine $900 if you were to do that. And we are helping you guys to hit those numbers and bring those merchants. Now, we are also working on a very exciting um, one-piece agreement. Uh, that combines a little bit more of the processing and and our, our again, it's optional, guys. We are not going to strong arm you guys to use our processing or anything. That's not my uh, strategy at all. But let me tell you, once you see the Schedule A and what we are doing, you will want to be working with us because everything will be all tied into one another and uh, it will be more streamlined, uh, faster boarding, all that jazz. And uh, we will have full control and ownership of what we are giving you, okay? So the details to come, uh, anybody's curious, they can call and schedule some time to talk to us about this, okay? Um, so David says, uh, <laughs> okay, the support, support the partner support sales support is weak, he says. You know, I mean, as we are growing, we are adding new people and, uh, and I know this COVID really shook us down a little bit as far as the employees. We had many, many people uh, but was being trained, and we lost them. Some people, believe it or not, didn't want to work. So it just blows my mind. But um, And now we are building it again. So you should uh, get better support soon, okay? All right, what else we have here? How can we improve your partner customer support experience? Faster and more consistent communication from Linga. Okay, 
Now, one problem, I'm not defending any anything, but as we are releasing these crazy functionalities every two weeks, I tell you, it's so hard to get everybody to be on the same page as knowledge-wise because they're already busy. We try to train them like every two weeks to a month, um, but, uh, you know, it's becoming a, a, a really a problem for us to get everybody up to speed with all these changes coming up, okay? Yes, uh, I agree with Andrew says, ticket resolutions do not properly show up in ticket complete notifications. Yeah, this is something that I'm very um, uh, aware and I kept telling them every time you guys close a ticket, it should have a resolution section. This is something that our, um, Julian and Bob, you know, we need to look into it and make sure everybody does that. Okay, Ben says, we are very satisfied with the partner support always available. Well, you're getting a good end of the stick. You get our uh, support from Dubai, I think, in the office. That's why <laughs> those guys are a little bit more available. Okay, and um, everything is good. Keep it up, team. Thanks, Omer. And uh, we still love everybody, but it's inconsistent. I know, we, we, we agree. Okay, so we want to hopefully change this around very soon. Okay, uh, we need you guys to sell more so we can hire more people. Right, how would you rate our partner customer support team? Okay, so I have one person give us one star and uh, five star, 25%, four star, 50%, three star, 13%. Okay, so here I'll share, share it to you. Okay, well, thanks for the honesty and partner support needs to change or or else. That's what it seems like. Okay. Well, we appreciate your uh, help. Anything else that I have missed and I did not answer? Let me see. There's more questions coming. Angela, has the integration with Micros and Aloha for Ola has been successfully tested? Does it work similar to TOS Ola integration? Okay. So I, let me explain how our um, device works. So um, if you are, okay, going to a client that has Micros or Aloha, you can use our web POS to install on those hardware. But our Linga online ordering is not integrated to their point of sale software. Just so you know, that's a clarification. Now we have some uh, very uh, aggressive partners like uh, Omer out of Canada who built uh, uh, a all blown Aloha integration with our online ordering. He took our uh, API, he took the API for uh, Aloha and he made this whole communication layer between uh, his platform and our online ordering to Aloha's solution. And then I think he did it for Matridi in Canada as well. So, you know, that's a good tool. I want everybody to work together. This is a tool that all of our partners can use and you guys can uh, kind of learn from him and maybe, you know, uh, cut a deal with them how you guys can also take advantage of this type of applications, okay? Um, my goal is eventually, you know, as I find all these APIs, the Uber, the DoorDash, and all that, I want it all completely integrated with us, so no middlemen, no nothing, okay? That's our goal, but give me some APIs. Yeah, so Sean uh, says uh, they have set up another training store for training mode. So what you guys can do, I know it's a pain in the uh, back end, but you can basically use your own platform, which you have full uh, unlimited access to multiple stores, right? You can create a lot of stores and and replicate the menu that you did on those. All you have to do is just give them a, a dummy demo account to log in and then train them on them. You know, I mean, I, I know it's, it's not the right solution, but there is a way around it. Um, you will get Lingago licenses for testing, but what I suggest, uh, everybody orders some type of, um, everybody orders their sample units uh, ASAP. So you guys can start familiarizing yourself and uh, get that going. So um, Andrew, why not have a role for training? If that role is detected, the sales are not recorded. Maybe have the screen be a different color for it when it's in the training. No, I mean, uh, there are different ways to do that. Honestly, guys, uh, did you guys see our request page? I mean, we have hundreds of hundreds of requests from all of you guys. And, 
you know, it's, it's a matter of picking and choosing what's really the most important, right? But I, I agree with you. I think we really need to, since everybody's like, it's the top lead, I think, if you go to requests. Let me go there real quick. Yeah, I think requests, Linga. Huh. Hold on. Okay, I see. Training mode is yes. It has forty-seven. Um, okay. Yep, it has a lot of functionality. Okay, well, gentlemen, ladies, um, thank you, partners. I really appreciate your business. Uh, open door policy. Send us an email. Anything that you need. Um, we appreciate you guys uh, working with us, even though we are not 100% um, with you guys as far as getting back very quickly and stuff. You're trying a little shorthanded as of uh, as of now. It's uh, tough to find good people here in, in this part of the world. Uh, but again, if you don't mind, we have a great uh, international team, and they're very adamant. They work with you, so you know they know as much as most of our guys here. So uh, be a part of that as well if if you run into them. All right, so I'm going to shut this down, and uh, thank you so much for your time. You guys have a great week.